Hey, it's Dennis and Kulika here. <laughs> and today's the big day. Like I told you guys before, we might be getting another crow. We might get one of those there. There's a couple with wing damage. <laughs> so Kulika has the crow in here. Peach's new friend is in this box. We're not gonna open it here though. So we just got home with the special cargo. There it is. There's a crow inside, you guys are gonna see. So here's the setup, guys. There's Peach's Avery over there. Peach is in there. And the new crow is gonna go here. There he is. Or she, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. There's the new crow. Welcome to your new home. Like I said before, the crow has an injured wing. So it's unreleasable. We want to give this crow a nice life. So we got the new little buddy here in his Avery. We're just going to keep him in the box. Let him come out on his own time. Kulika open that box a bit. He's pretty comfortable like that, so we're not going to bother him right now. He's on the perch now. Look at that, guys. We're so happy to see that he came out of the box. <laughs> we'll leave it in there for a little while yet, like a security blanket. So Kulika's mixing the names up. And then Peach is going to pick the name. <laughs> Mix them up good. <laughs> He's got to pick one only. Are you ready, Peach? Peach, are you ready? He's hey. not ready. <laughs> Peach, are you ready to pick the name? Peach. Your buddy needs a name. Good. Get it, Kulika. Peach got one. There's a bunch in the bowl there yet. What do we got? What is it? It's cherry. Cherry. <laughs> cherry. Yeah, look at it. Cherry. Peach pick cherry. <laughs> Hello, cherry. That's your new name. Your name is cherry here now. Yeah. Good bird. He opened the beak. There! Look, the medicine's going in, guys. Peach is holding my finger <laughs> with his beak. <laughs> Good job, Kulika and Cherry. We're at the vet clinic now. It's Tuesday morning. We're heading in. All right, so the plan with Cherry will be to hospitalize her tonight. We'll get her comfortable in a kennel and um, in our ward. And then tomorrow she'll be going into surgery um, with a boarded small animal surgeon. I'll be assisting. And then we'll have our anesthesia team doing her anesthesia. And then depending on how she does, She'll be hospitalized with us for a few days, um, usually less than a week, but it always depends on how our patients do. We'll of course give you a call every day with an update to let you know how things are going. Unfortunately, the reason we could not proceed with the surgery today is um, when we were monitoring anesthesia during the induction, he was taking a really long time to fall asleep. And uh, that's something that's very unusual in birds because their respiratory system should be very efficient. Um, and then when they put the tube in his throat to monitor his breathing, everything sounded 
a little bit wet and congested. At that point, I gave you guys a call and yeah. shared those findings with you. Yeah. And we determined it would be in Cherry's best interest to abort the procedure at that time, wake him up, and um, potentially we could be looking at some low-level pneumonia that we should maybe address before we try again with anesthesia and surgery. So we just got back home. And we brought Cherry and Peach in the office here. Back together again. Two best buddies. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be giving Cherry some antibiotics for a week before we take them back in for that x-ray. So we've been given the medication for the past week. We took them in today. They did the x-ray and his lungs are all clear. Good bird, Jerry. Good bird. For you. I'll it here. <laughs> <laughs> he will take it later. Jerry. Good bird. Jerry. We actually have some news. Cherry surgery has been rescheduled now. And it's going to be Friday, January 12th, they're going to try for. So yeah, we're heading to the vet college. It's about 8 30 in the morning. We gotta get in there quick. It's cold. <laughs> Guys, thanks for bringing Cherry in. Uh, so the plan for him today will be just to be hospitalized in our ward. And our anesthesia team will make a plan for him today. And tomorrow, we're scheduled for surgery in the morning. We'll have a boarded surgeon in the surgery um, for him. I think Cherry's coming. <laughs> Hi guys, here he is. There's Cherry. We miss you so much, Jerry. You did very, very well. Wow. Hello there, little Cherry. Hello, you're gonna go home and see Peach? Yeah, you're gonna go back home. So that bandage will just keep on for about a week. Okay. Um, his hardware is just underneath. The surgeon did a really, really good job. Um, it was a very challenging, very long surgery, a long time under anesthesia, but Cherry did great. His bone is considerably shorter because of the fact that a piece has fallen out before mm -hmm. and because the surgeon had to get it back to healthy bone that had a good blood supply. Yes. Um, so his wings are a little uneven, yeah. but hopefully once it heals, he won't have to have a bandage on anymore and he'll be much more comfortable. These are two medications we're sending home. One is for pain and one is an antibiotic. Mm -hmm. How long was he under anesthesia? Or um, he was under anesthesia for about three hours. Wow. It took a really long time. It was a very difficult sur yeah. a surgery. We're so happy to be bringing Cherry home. <laughs> we got a cage here set up for him with a low perch. We got a bunch of conditions sent home with us from the doctor. We have a bandage around, but the apparatus there is wrapped there with that white. Well, thanks for bringing Cherry in for his recheck. So um, it's been one week since his surgery, so we wanted to make sure that the fixator was still intact and the pin sites looked good, and everything does look really, really good. I did take off his body wrap so that he can start having a little more shoulder movement, a little more, more elbow movement, getting that to heal. We'll see you guys again in about two weeks, and that's the first time that we'll repeat x-rays to see how things are healing below the surface. Mm -hmm. There's little Cherry, guys. Look at that. Cherry. He's in the towel there. <laughs> I have the tablet here, and you have to put it on the right side. We've got to put it right to his esophagus. So now we have to put it in and Kulika's got to push it in. So 
I'll put it and then she'll start pushing it. Let's try it, guys. Okay, get his beak <clears throat> open, Kulika. Beak is open. <laughs> put the pill in. Do the right. Yeah, I'll place it there. And now I have to stick my finger all the way in to make sure it goes uh, past the crop. And then I have a flashlight. I'll take a look. Yeah, she's got to push it as far as she can. The doctor said, don't worry, don't be scared. Birds don't have a gag reflex. Because if you don't get it past the crop, he's going to spit it out. I think I got it in the right place. Okay, I'm going to take a look with the flashlight. I always take a look here. Twice a day we do this. Yeah, I don't see it. I think I got it far enough. Success! So that's how we give the medication to Little Cherry. Yeah, I'm so excited you guys brought Cherry in today for a recheck. So we repeated x-rays today. It's been about three and a half weeks in surgery and I am really loving how much new bone there is. You can see the smooth proliferative outline here of bone, new bone, bone growing in. Mm -hmm. And that will continue to remodel, but it's really thick and strong right now and stable. So we actually removed a big portion of the fixator. We only left in the one IM pin going through the middle of the bone. So all he has now is one little metal piece sticking out of his shoulder that right. we can pull in about two to three weeks. Right on. <laughs> but I am so happy with how much new bone formation there is. Um, he doesn't even need a body wrap anymore to immobilize that wing. <laughs> and he doesn't need antibiotics anymore. Right on. Because there's no signs of infection. <laughs> so you guys did a really That's... good job taking care of him. So Peach, I'm going to ask you the question. Is Cherry a boy or a girl? Pick the color. What do you think, little Peach? Make your decision, Peach. Look, he took the blue one. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to show you now. Most of us have thought girl, so let's see what we see. There it is. Do you believe it? It says male. <laughs> you got the drinks ready? Aww. There they are. And then we're going to have some cake. So, guys, here's a toast for our new boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little cherry boy. To cherry. Little cherry. Little cherry boy. <laughs> hey guys, there's little cherry. And cherry's going in tomorrow, a new appointment. So the doctor brought cherry out and you got some news to tell us? Yeah, we got the x-rays on Cherry. Unfortunately, um, he did refracture his wing oh. at the same place um, where surgery was done. Um, he doesn't seem to be too uncomfortable from it, so at this time we're going to put a wrap on him to hold his wing in place. Um, more for comfort, more than anything. And then we'll do a recheck in about three or four weeks. So that's the worst news we could have heard, guys. I'm in shock. I don't know how that happened. We've been treating him so so gentle and everything. And she said that he pulled the pin out at some time and it probably wasn't ready to come out. But he, he pulled it out and then they say it doesn't take much. So it was a good day overall for little Terry. When the doctor talked to me on the phone earlier when we were supposed to go pick him up, he said that there was a callus built up on the x-ray they noticed. So that's good news. There goes Kulika and Little Cherry. We haven't been here for a while. I think it was pretty cold the last time we were here. Actually an attendant brought him back out. The doctor's busy. So what they did was they took the wrap off and said the wing is pretty stable. So they're pretty happy with that. And he got his West Nile virus shot. So there's the proof guys. 
Cherry's doing great. No wrap on anymore. So here's hoping after the next couple weeks, if he has some rest here without the wrap on, he can join Peach in his cage and the Avery. Cherry was a wild crow actually when he was rescued, but he had a broken wing and someone in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan picked him up, put him in their backyard, but then couldn't look after him no more. And they brought him to the wildlife rehab in Saskatoon. And then the director of the wildlife rehab phoned us and said, would you like a, a mate for Peach? We have some unreleasable crows. So we said yes.